What is going on, gamers and non-gamers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Today, we are back with another video, but this time, we're going to be ranking every single Fortnite boss, NPC, and really annoying rocket launcher, drum gun spamming uh, NPCs that have ever been in this game. Let's get right into it. For my least favorite, I'm go I'm going to have to go with Tintina. Tintina was just a boring boss. Gave you the boom bow. Didn't really do much. I guess she got a cool skin style. And by the way, guys, I'm basing these off of, like, everything. What they dropped, how cool they are generally, what loot they would give, you know. And honestly, Tintina is going to rank at the bottom of the list. Next up, we got the Fortnite Spire Assassin. The one this season is pretty, like, I mean, it, it teleports, but it just, like, stuffs your face with, like, 90 barrels of shotgun. So this isn't my favorite one. And she's just not that cool, you know? She doesn't bring that depth that everybody loves you know next we're gonna have to go with meowsicles you know the kitty witty cat um meowsicles and cat noir whatever that that show is you know i'm gonna have to go with meowsicles not just because he's a cat and dogs are better that's undoubtedly a fact you cannot argue with that um but because he gave like an ak and the ak wasn't that fun you know so overall hmm now, the Predator's kind of low just because he's kind of Kiwis and he's kind of stinky. P.U. Alright, next we have Wolverine. Now, the reason he's kind of low is because I did not like how this guy would just attack you for no reason. And I didn't like the weapons he gave. It's just that simple. Alright, for next, I'm going to have to go with Iron Man. I mean, we all, all love Tony Stark. I mean, who am I to say that Tony Stark isn't one of the top five, like, movie characters of all time actually that's debatable but he is still a great you know character regardless i just had to put him like lower at this list just because i feel like there's still regardless more fun more you know just dope bosses out there so all right next up we're gonna have to go with the wrench girl don't know her name but i do know in the storyline she's like supposed to be midas's daughter now i don't remember exactly like why i mean People liked her so much besides the fact that she was, like, I guess, decent in the storyline. Um, the only reason I do like her was because I believe she dropped the grappler. That was dope. I did not like her drum gun. It was, like, really nerfed. And for, like, not a controller, a PC, keyboard, mouse player, wasn't as much of a necessity. But I definitely do like her because of the grappler. But I'm not going to rank her much higher. Alright. We're going to have to go with the Aquam Aquamarine Lady. Don't know her name, but I know she gave an AUG and a Chug Jug. Uh, shout out to Le Leviathan's Chug Jug with you. Really Overall, you. it was a pretty decent Chug boss. It you. wasn't OP. Uh, it kind of, I guess, fit in the theme of the season, like the water. And overall, solid like 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Next up, we got, you know, uh, Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. Honestly, not bad. The only reason I really put him up here was because of, like, how good he just, like, his skin looked. He had one of the crappiest, like, uh, weapons to give. The dualies, like, and he had an okay vault. But overall, this character was sick. Sick collaboration with Fortnite. Now, before I get into the next one, guys, make sure to let me know down in the comments which your favorite one is and your least favorite to let me know. Hit that sub. You know, so you can be notified when more videos like these, you know, come out. Alright, next we gotta go with Kit. Now, the reason I'm picking Kit, kind of, you know, in the middle upper, is because she gave, undoubtedly, or really close to undoubtedly, one of the best guns ever in the game. And, like, just duo. You had the Kit's Charge Shotgun, which was just insane. You could not even charge it, and it would do 100 you know, or whatever. Along with the Caddy Launcher, which is notoriously one of the most broken things ever in comp, especially with both of them. Now, the only reason Kit was a little bit of annoying was just the amount of people that landed Caddy Corners. That's, that's kind of frustrating. Nobody really liked that. So that was, that's Kit. Kit's rank in the middle. Alright, next I got... And the reason for that is just because he's a dope character, his show is dope, and he dropped one of the most fun snipers and jetpack in the game, which really did add something to Season 6 or Season 5 that we all really did, you know, need, so. Alright, for this one, it's a hard decision, but I gotta go with Big B. I got Brutus. This man is literally one of the goats. He is big, he is strong, 
and he packed that minigun and the grotto. Deadly duo that just mm, dominated season two. All right, ranking super high on this list is Ruckus because not only did he drop a rocket launcher, he also dropped a purple AK and sold lever actions, which is just an insane combo for, you know, a pretty broken NPC, but that man dropped amazing loot. Coming in at the absolute best, we have to have Sky. She gave Grappler good laughs, and she had the shark, which was a pretty nice, you know, neat place to drop. And she's kind of a cutie, so. That'll be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to sub for more rankings, more montages, more funny videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.